Hey everyone and welcome to the video and today what we're doing is we're taking a look at the Sennheiser Ambio Smart Headset. This is something that I've unboxed and used in a couple of my videos already and basically I just wanted to take the time to actually make a quick video in terms of whether or not this is a product that's worth buying in today's market of uh, noise cancelling headphones. Um, so obviously the main trick with, with these particular headphones is the fact that it's not just um, headphones alone, um, it's more so the, the binaural recording. That is the main thing that people actually purchase these particular headphones for. And that's the main thing that I actually purchased them for as well. The fact that these come with active noise cancellation as a result of having these microphones, that was basically just a bonus and just a, an extra thing on the side. Um, I wasn't actually expecting them to be any good in terms of the noise cancellation and to be fair, they're not too bad for noise cancellation itself. Where they obviously show their age and show the fact that these, these have dropped from a retail price, a regional retail, retail price of almost $300 or £300 down to what I paid for them, which was probably during a sale, but even still I paid £36 for these. Given that price tag, um, how, how do they fare? So at $300, no, nobody should be buying these. Uh, when they first came out, obviously it was something a little bit different and binaural audio recording wasn't something that was really widespread or easily available. And even now, if you go on Amazon and you just search for binaural recorders, um, microphones, you, you'll, you'll see that they're not cheap. Um, they'll probably start around £80. So the fact that these were so cheap um, was a bit of a bonus for me because I was looking for something exactly like this in order to do some of the videos that I wanted to do. But for the normal person out there, how does it work for you guys? Do, do you guys really need something like this? So what I'll do is I'll just pop these on and the first thing I will say about these, so in this video I want to concentrate more in terms of how these are as a product. So obviously these are earphones, or I'll, I'm going to refer to them as headphones just to make things simple. Essentially they're earphones because they go in your ear as opposed to over your ears or anything like that. So in terms of obviously in-ear headphones, the first thing that they do is you get that muffle kind of. So that's with noise cancellation on, that's off, and now I have transparency mode enabled. And what I noticed straight away is obviously my voice is already high pitched enough. Um, and this literally makes me sound like, like the chipmunks, um, very, very high pitched. In terms of the clarity, one thing that I did, did really like about the, the actual transparency mode is it's very accurate in terms of where sounds are coming from. So it does, there's no delay in terms of picking up sounds around you. Um, and obviously that's, that's down to the fact that the, the whole point of these is the binaural audio recording. Um, so that was really good. And the first time I actually noticed that was when I was actually sat, I was working on my um, MacBook Pro. I was editing one of the videos and I plugged this in to my iPhone um, whilst I was actually trans transferring uh, some files. Um, and I switched transparency mode on, I had my TV on and I actually noticed that as I put my head down, I could actually sense where the sound was basically staying where it was. And as I was moving, obviously it was giving that more 3D kind of effect. So that side of it, it was very, very good. And for anybody that hasn't actually experienced um, that type of transparency mode, um, it will be quite a shock the first time you hear it. But I think the thing that sort of went against these these headphones for me was the fact that even though these are quite old and it's not a product that I would have ever looked at previously, uh, at the point I purchased these, I'd already had the AirPods Pro. Um, and the transparency mode on those is a lot, lot better than these. Um, these aren't bad, but they're just better. Um, and then obviously since then, when I've purchased the AirPods Max, they're just a completely another level. And obviously the price tag represents that as well. Um, just on the price tag, obviously it does give you an idea in terms of everybody's looking at the AirPods Max as being ridiculously priced. But for over ear headphones that were actually priced at um, 550 essentially, these originally cost 300. So that's sort of giving you an idea in terms of the way we look at things and the way price tags are sometimes perceived. 
Um, I don't think these, the, the biggest selling point on these particular headphones was the fact that they had active noise cancellation or transparency mode. I think that was just a byproduct and it was, it was a benefit. The main thing with these is the fact that the way that they record and even that, um, that's something where I'm glad I purchased these for that for my videos. Um, the use case can be a li little limited and it's more so when you're in an enclosed sort of scenario like this or possibly when you're traveling and you just want to experience um, a sort of the ambience of a place, I don't know, a, a train journey or something, for example, where you're walking through a busy, busy station, something like that. But these wouldn't really work very well in the sort of situation where, for example, an interview situation or something like that. Even some of the videos that I've actually recorded where I, I deliberately use these just to test how they work. Because the, the biggest limiting factor is you either have to do what I'm doing right now, which is recording into a separate device and then sync up in post. Um, or basically you have to be behind the camera and you're, you're always limited by the length of this cable. Um, essentially, it's a good product. It's a good product, but I think, as I said in the, the original unboxing video and some of the subsequent videos, I think it was made at the wrong time and it was um, aimed at the wrong sort of um, audience. At the time um, when possibly YouTube was sort of really becoming big and they, they probably thought as a creator, this is a brilliant tool to have, but I don't think enough people would have actually adopted it for the simple reason it, it's got a cable. Um, if there was a way where this could have been done without a cable, I think this product would have been a lot more popular. Um, and especially obviously the, the price tag difference as well in terms of how much has actually dropped down. I think that's a representation of that. Um, I'm not sure why um, they're still around in terms of selling for that, that much lower. Um, obviously, you're talking from £300 down to almost £30, essentially. Um, but for, th for £36, if you can pick these up for £36 and you don't mind having the wire and a few other little niggles that I'll get onto, then yeah, yeah, I'd say considering what you're getting here is, is really good, especially if you are s slightly into the creative side of things. Now, they're not perfect, uh, not by any means. So originally, obviously right now, I've, I have these plugged into an iPhone 7 Plus. And on this particular phone, um, they've not had any issues. When I originally set these up, I set them up on my 12 Pro Max. And what I did was I downloaded the Sennheiser app. And first time I plugged it in, I, I put, obviously I was eager to get them uh, tested out and everything. So I've, I've fired up the app, the, uh, the camera app, and it crashed. Phone restarted. Um, so then I thought, unplugged them, let it restart, went into the Sennheiser app first this time and there was a firmware update waiting for it. So I thought maybe maybe that was what was causing it. So did the firmware update, um, tested it for the rest of the day, seemed, seemed fine. Uh, a couple of days later I went to test it again, plugged it into the phone, opened up the camera app and once again um, it crashed. So for some reason on certain phones, and I think it's only the newer phones, um, the first time you open any camera app, any voice app, anything where you can actually make use of the, the microphones, it will crash. Um, and what what you'll notice is at the moment I have a red light on. I believe that only comes on whilst you're actually recording, but your, your noise cancellation works as soon as you plug it in, as soon as it's got power. And what you'll notice is when you first plug it in, you won't get no noise cancellation, you won't get the transparency mode. It'll, it'll literally just do, it'll do nothing. And that's when it restarts the phone and then once it actually reboots, it, it works perfectly fine. Um, I thought it may be an accessibility issue because obviously they changed some of those things in, in the later firmwares um, on iOS. Um, but essentially, I believe this is also running iOS 14 as well. Um, so it can't even be that either. What what the issue is, I don't know. Uh, whether Sennheiser would even bother to, to look into it at this stage, I don't know. It's not the end of the world because it only does it once. So the first time you plug it in, it will reboot. Um, and then after that, it'll, it'll be fine. And the benefit of these is unlike every other external microphone where once you're recording onto an iPhone, um, you make your recording and then you have to unplug it in order to test it because obviously they don't have headphones built in. That's the benefit with these, that they do have headphones built in and the sound quality from those headphones is actually very good. So I actually have some Beats, uh, Beats X headphones, uh, wireless Beats X, um, and compared to those, I'd say that the, the bass is a little better on these. Um, I think the the vocals are probably better on the Beats headphones, to be perfectly honest. Um, these are, can sound a little tinny, but what these do very well is, obviously being stereo headphones, um, it does, when you're playing your content back, any of the sort of binaural recordings that you've made, it's very, very good in terms of putting across exactly what you've recorded. 
Um, and obviously that is the only way that you can really experience that unless you have what I have at home, which is a full surround sort of cell. Other points of note is another reason I believe these probably won't have done very well is because of this section here. So this is actually quite heavy. Um, at the moment I'm sat down and even right now, it's pulling down on, on my ears quite, quite a lot. These are possibly the, the most uncomfortable um, headphones I've probably ever used. Um, can't really think of anything that's actually been as uncomfortable as these, apart from literally one pound headphones that I, I used to purchase back in the day from Pound Store, just in a pinch when you just needed something to plug in. You've lost your, your, your original set and you, you just needed a cheap set or possibly the airplane headphones that they, they plug in with the, the two mic uh, sort of uh, phono ports. Um, apart from those, I think these are possibly the most uncomfortable, especially for, for them being over ear where it's supposed to um, lessen, lessen the, the load essentially. Um, in terms of the ear tips, it does come with additional ear tips, but I found that the ones that come on it are probably the only ones that are usable for my ears. Usually I end up having to change to the smallest tips on every other um, in-ear headphone but on these because you need that isolation um, the the ones that came with it were the only ones that worked now the problem with that is they're not quite the right size either so when i actually push them in um, there's a there's a point at which they'll grip but it feels like they're constantly basically coming out again and the main reason for that is obviously the weight of this this particular unit is too much um, i get why they needed to do that obviously they needed to put all the electronics in that but um, they should have come up with a clip mechanism, something that you can just clip on just to take the weight off. This itself is probably the biggest uh, drawback in terms of these headphones. Um, in terms of functionality and everything, obviously you do get some buttons in terms of your bottom bits, all your transparency mode and everything. You've got some volume controls. Up here you have a uh, slider. Now the slider can actually be reprogrammed and you can make it do several things. So I actually have it set so then it opens the Sennheiser app. Originally, I believe it used to change from normal sort of recording level down to reduced level. That's only for sort of concerts and really loud environments where you need you need to bring those levels down. But what I found was for anybody using these as just normal mics, um, it would be way too low. So you, you literally won't be able to hear anything. You'll be bumping up your gain so high in post that it's not worth using. So literally the only scenario that you'd use that would be something like a, a really loud environment concert, something, something like that. Um, the middle button, uh, I, to be honest, I can't even remember what that does because the main uses I've had for these has been a little bit of audio testing, but other than that, it's literally just been the recording side of things. Um, but I believe it's your normal sort of stop, start, um, to answer your phone calls, all that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, uh, obviously they do plug straight into your lightning port. And the one last thing to note is the, the actual width of this is, is quite chunky. Um, it did work with all of my cases, but if you do have a case where you have a, a narrower opening, it probably won't work uh, for the simple reason that this, this uh, lightning port, the actual plastic surround is too chunky. Um, other than that, um, I mean, they, they, they they do the job very well in terms of what they were designed to do, but I don't think these are a product that the normal consumer will actually benefit from. This is the kind of product that's been aimed at creators, and for those, it's worth having, especially if you can pick you up at the price I did. If you can pick these up for around 30 to 40 pounds, I'd say this is, this is the kind of product that will give some of your videos uh, a much better um, realism, especially with anything like anything like the testing for AirPods Max, all, all of these sort of over-ear headphones, any anything where you're testing sound uh, soundstage speakers, um, home theater setups, that that kind of scenario, these give you a much more realistic soundstage at not a very high price. So obviously beyond this, you'd need to go to multi-mic setups and obviously separate all your channels manually, um, and then obviously you can then bump it up to even 5.1 sort of setups. But for a stereo setup, and it does only give you audio in stereo, so um, I did actually test it by importing it into Final Cut Pro, and even if you select multi-channel audio, it'll still only give you stereo sound output. So it's still only using left and right, but obviously it does a much better job in terms of giving you a more creative um, and realistic um, idea in terms of what it actually sounds like in, in that situation at that time. But yeah, for, for creators out there, 
absolutely 100 i would say this is this is a product especially if you can get it at that price point definitely go for it um get it and even if you only use it once a year it'll, it'll pay for itself just for that one video where you can actually give people out there people watching on youtube uh the ability to actually hear with headphones because you will need to use headphones in order to experience this um, a much more realistic uh, idea in terms of how something like this might sound or how your home theater might sound uh, for everybody else out there unless you're really desperate um, I don't think this this is a product that anybody a normal consumer should be buying um, rather than this you, you want you want wireless now um, you, you'll get the similar sort of uh, latency and everything from uh, well not not exactly uh, similar but uh, most of the Bluetooth headphones have a decent enough latency now so for most most use cases you can get away with something like Beats X which I believe would actually be cheaper than these if not exactly the same sort of price and out of the two as headphones I would prefer the Beats X even though I don't particularly like those headphones um, I will have a separate review coming on those as well um, but um, out of out of the two yeah I'd, I'd say they're, they're the better option for somebody who just wants headphones for anybody who wants the mic side of things 100% absolutely go for it um, and I guarantee you won't regret it. Well that's it for this video um, if you have enjoyed this video obviously give us a thumbs up if you haven't already done so please do subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell icon that way you don't miss out on any new videos and other than that thanks very much for watching